can see from the side of below what are we doing today you guys you guys already know if you follow me on snapchat follow me on instagram as you guys can see this is exactly how we came packaged this year there is no plastic wrap or anything on here the pro maxes came in the black box so pretty much the same <laughs> same shit okay so yeah we're gonna go ahead and just open it up i do have the 12 Pro Max in silver, but pretty much white. So this is how it comes. Packaging like this. It has like a little lift. So I wasn't sure how I felt about it not having plastic around it. Simply because I thought my phone could just fall out of here, but that's not the case. Right here, you're just going to pull this little flap. And the same thing with the bottom, but I'm not going to show you guys because it has like my serial number and all that good jazz on it but it's not going to fall out because as you guys can see one of my little concerns but girl we good okay so we're gonna go ahead and just open it up now my first impression right off the bat you guys is i'm not even sure if you can see it in the camera but the color that i thought it was and the color that it is that apple was giving so I'm kind of disappointed, but girl, at the end of the day, I already didn't pay for it. Like, I think the total was $11.89. That's how much they took off my debit card. So girl, we're going to have to roll with it. So if you guys can see, even these colors are not even the same. Last year, when I opened up my iPhone 12 Pro Max, the colors were definitely dead on. This one is giving more of a lighter gold. And then this one is giving more like a tannish mixed with like some type of gold but it's definitely not the gold that it looks like on camera so just right off the rip this is my first impressions i'm not a techie channel you guys can go follow marcus and all the other techie channels if you want that i'm just a girl who buy phones and i like to do my unboxings because you guys like it so that's what we're doing so yeah the colors aren't the same let me take my phone out so i can show you guys like I said, I do have the iPhone 12 Pro Max. See, this is my 12 Pro Max in silver. This is the iPhone 13 Pro Max in gold. If y'all look at the back of this phone, it damn near look alike. I'm not tripping. Like, the cameras is a little bit bigger. But if you're someone and you wear cases on your phone, girl, anybody gonna know. Like, ain't nobody gonna know. And I'm just really not impressed. But I bought it. So, I really could just shut the fuck up. But I bought it. Because y'all know, like, I'm obsessed with the new iPhones. Whether they're trash or not. Whether they updated or not. Whether they made a new design or not. Did they come up with a new design for this year? Definitely not. This look, like, reused or a copycat of this. I'm not impressed, but like I said, I bought it. If you look at the back, it looks pretty much the same, just different colors, and the camera is a little bigger. But, you know, like if you're someone and you wear phone cases, like this is my phone case. You throw that on there, nobody's going to know. Nobody's going to know. Even if you put, like, one of these on here, you're not going to know because they look almost identical. The camera is just a little bigger. This is the side. You already know it catch fingerprints like a motherfucker. So you're going to have to put a case on it or walk around with a thousand fingerprints on the side of your phone. And of course, Apple is still running the same game they was running last year. So you guys know everything that comes in the box. This is it. Girl, this is all you're getting. This is it. A little paperwork, the charger piece that you need. And of course, this is the brick that you're going to need. I'm not purchasing another brick. Because I did have another gold iPhone 12 Pro Max and then I end up giving it away. So I still have this brick that I used to use. So I'm just going to still use this one. But just keep in mind if you're someone coming from like an iPhone 7, 8, 
um you know the older phones you're gonna need this brick which i believe is like 20 something dollars head and i'm not even gonna open this girl y'all already know what's in there they do the same thing every year oh apple come on with some new shit because i'm over it so we're just gonna go ahead and get off because girl why not so this is how it's looking from the side, it's giving like a very dark, dark, tannish gold as I'm looking at it on the side. But honestly, you guys, if you're someone and you have maybe a 7 or an 8 or an X, maybe, is it worth the upgrade? Yes. Because iOS 15 is out right now, oh, let me turn it on, yeah. I haven't even upgraded to iOS 15 because I didn't know if I wanted to get it because once again, I was not impressed with the update. And I'll show you guys. I was just not impressed with the new update. Is it just me? Leave it in the comments what you guys think. Like I was saying, if you are someone and you have like this phone the iphone 12 pro max then it's honestly not worth the update and i'm just giving you guys my honest opinion i purchased the phone because this is what i wanted to do i'm obsessed with new phones whether it's trash or not i know this sounds kind of crazy but i am and you guys know I have an Android as well. So I'm not team iPhone or team Android. I'm team y'all already know whatever the fuck I like. This is how it looks when you first turn it on. I'm just going to go ahead and swipe up and just do the little quick rundown. Because I haven't seen how the home screen and stuff looks with iOS 15. And I believe it's already updated. I'm going to do English. And we're going to do United States. And quick start, if you're someone and you have an Android, or this is your first iPhone, you're going to have quick start, which is basically letting you bring your old device or your old iPad to set it up, which is the quickest way. But because it's an unboxing, you guys love for me to go through it. So girl, we're going to go ahead and set this up manually. I'm going to go ahead and hop on my Wi-Fi. Data and privacy. Girl, read it. Continue. We're not going to do Face ID because I'm just running it through for you guys. We're going to set that up later. Girl, y'all not about to see my passcode. Stop playing with me. We're going to head and just don't even use. Like, no, stop questioning me. I already said no the first time. So this is where you're going to set up. Like, if you want to restore from iCloud backup, if you want to store from your Mac or your PC, if you want to transfer directly from your iPhone, Move data from Android. I, when I get a new phone, I don't do all this. Because I don't want to bring, like, the bullshit that's in this phone to this one. So, I always do don't transfer apps and data. Because the apps is going to be on there already. And the pictures and stuff. So, that's all I need. I'm not going to go ahead and sign in or do anything like that. So, I'm just going to click right here. And we're going to set this up later. Why do Apple question you about everything twice? Like, did I say no the first time? Stop playing with me. Terms and conditions, girl. Nobody's reading all of that. Keep your iPhone up to date. Get the latest feature security improvements by updating iOS automatically. I hate this feature. That is why I don't have my iOS 15 updated on this one. Girl, stop playing with me. I go in there and change that. And this is just telling you about iMessage and FaceTime. I'm just going to click continue, girl. Girl, no. I don't need you knowing where I'm, at, where I'm at all the time. Set up later if you want to set up Siri. This is screen time. So if you're someone new to iPhone, I'm going to go ahead and run through it real quick. This is screen time. You just get weekly reports with insights about your screen time and set time limits for apps you want to manage. You can also use screen time on children devices and set up parental control. Now, I do think this is good for people who have younger kids. So you definitely might want to go ahead and set that up. I have a um, daughter that's in college, her first year. Shout out to my baby. <laughs> and I have a son that's in the 11th grade. So girl, I'm good on that. This is just, girl, look, don't share. This is the appearance. So this is light and dark mode. 
Oh, I have my phone set up where at nighttime it goes to this because my eyes. And then this is what I use on daytime. This is just what I prefer. So you can select light or dark. But that's what I that's what I'm saying. If you have the update, you're gonna get all these features regardless. If you're someone and you have an old phone, as long as you're able to update to iOS 15, this is not even an iOS 15 update. It's been we girl, we've been here. But just continue, okay? Display zoom, standard zoom. I always do standard. And then we're gonna just go ahead and welcome to iPhone. Like, what's up? <laughs> so right off the bat. I know I'm going to delete this. I don't like widgets on my phone at all. That's a dub. Some of the icons look a little different. Like the camera. Let me turn this phone around. Um, let, me, let me make it a little brighter. This is what it's giving. Honestly, some of the icons look a little different. Like the camera icon looks just a tad bit different. It's kind of hard to see behind the camera like the news icon looks a little different of course the maps look different and i think i'm not sure like it's hard for me to see you guys drop it in the comments if you see any difference in the two i really don't these are on zoomed and these are on standard so i can't really tell the difference and then the weather app looks different like i said i'm not impressed with the iOS 15. So let's see if it's an update already. See, it's already an update already on iOS 15. And the phone is already running iOS 15. That's what I'm saying. So like this update provides important security updates and fixes and issues where widgets may revert to their default setting after restoring from a backup. So it's already like a little hiccup, but you guys, I usually wait a while before I update my phone because it's always, girl, Apple always have glitches. Like, stop playing. They already know it. But I don't know how I'm feeling about this. But I'm going to have to get with the program, girl, because this is what it is. iPhone 15, okay? So, like I said, I'm not impressed at all. I'm not impressed with how the phone looks. I feel like it's just like a phone that they reused and brought it back to life. And this is what we're working with. Maybe I should start getting phones every four years because I see sometimes Apple may switch it up every four or five years. But even if you're someone right now and you have an iPhone X, girl, from the front of the phone, as long as you update to iOS 15, you're good. But if you're someone and you heard about like the three cameras on the back and stuff like that, well, then just get you like a newer phone, but you don't have to get like you can get like a 12 because let me show y'all something. This is not the original color that I wanted. I wanted the one that was pink that I wanted. I did not want the gold. But then when I realized Apple only made it available for the 13 and I think the mini. And I was like, are you kidding me? Bring back the pink one for the feminine girls out there. So, yeah, this is the color I originally wanted, the pink one. But Apple was like, girl, not today. So that's pretty much my first impressions. I don't even know if I did a comparison. I'm not sure. But girl, don't go out here running to this store to get this phone. It is not worth it. It's not worth almost $1,200. And that's just for the 128 gigabyte. Now, if you feel differently in the comments, it's okay, girl. We grown. We're going to agree to disagree. But before I end this video, I want to show you guys a few phone cases that I did get i will have her instagram across the screen if you guys want to go purchase anything from her she also have bomb ass jewelry as well i know this is an unboxable girl relax so this is one of the cases i got from her so cute it's like a chanel inspired phone case it comes with the chain this is probably the one i'm going to put on my phone today it has like a little wallet to put your cards in. It's like a red interior. And then you have the chain right here. Super cute. Love that. And then, oh girl, my daughter, she has the Dior. Clear, let me see it. I'll show you guys because when I got it, she hurry up and just, she caught that. And then I have a Fendi one. And it looks just like this. 
just like this so cute right y'all definitely go check her out let her know your girl sent you use my name miss queen nificent for free shipping and then before i leave oh let me show you let me show them so this is the christian dior you guys are wondering my daughter has the 12 pro max this is the christian dior case it's so cute but like i said she caught the last night and it looks good with her phone because she has the darker phone yeah that's pretty much my unboxing my first impressions girl the truth about the iphone to buy it or not to buy it is up to you guys if you're thinking about buying it drop it in the comments down below which phone you're thinking about getting i'm always interested to see which phones you guys are getting most of you guys from my unboxings i see a lot of you guys getting either the like last year you guys got like the 12s or the 12 pro max i didn't see a lot of people getting the minis but then i saw a lot of unboxings of the minis on here on youtube so let me know in the comments down below which phone you guys are thinking about getting if you're going to get one and let me know what phone you guys have in the comments down below you guys know i love talking to you guys and everything like that i also just recently posted a vlog you guys should go check it out thank you guys so much for almost 100k views i appreciate you guys so so much don't forget to follow my instagram it'll be across the screen follow your girl show me some love and that's pretty much it if you guys enjoyed this unboxing i know it was pretty long but y'all know i like to talk to y'all like i could talk to y'all even more girl i got shit to do so let me know if you guys enjoyed this unboxing by giving a big thumbs up also if you did an unboxing drop it in the comment section so other people can go see it to support because girl we support over here we the team okay and that's pretty much it once again i love you guys so so much and until next time you guys bye tell yourself everything that you want to hear tell yourself that you that bitch and make that clear